So Montana is incredibly rural, and we have rural critical access hospitals around the state and long-term care facilities around the state, and they have a real challenge getting a stable workforce. Um, there's a real issue out in the rural areas of not being able to have enough nurses, and a lot of those nurses that are there are aging and about ready to retire. Um, so it's very important that w people from their own community get educated so that they can work in these facilities because that's where they want to live. Trying to recruit someone into one of these really small towns is incredibly challenging. So we have to make education available to people in these areas. And in fact, the care of Healthcare Montana stands for Creating Access to Rural Education. We redesigned the nursing program so that it would have a, a practical nurse program and a registered nurse program and a BSN completion program. And we reduced each of those by one semester so that people could get out into the workforce more quickly, even if they did have to go away to go to college. We put the practical nurse program online in a distance format. So they do have to go to campus some, but really reduce that to as little as campus time as possible. Um, we then also changed our BSN completion program. We reduced it by one semester and also put it all online. So the beauty of that is that those that have an RN and want to become a BSN, they can actually work as an RN while they're completing their BSN. So they can continue to earn their salary even while they are getting their higher education, and they can do that in their own community. Maintaining the rigor of a nursing program is a must. You, you have no choice because it's highly regulated, uh, accredited, there's licensing boards, um, so that education has to be very specific. What they did was they actually reduced the number of prerequisites that were required, and those prerequisites that they removed, they wove that content into the nursing courses themselves. So they didn't really lose anything. They really actually just have what you would call an accelerated program so that they get more content in shorter periods of time. The other thing that we have done that is really important and was also very employer driven was we created healthcare apprenticeship programs in Montana for the first time. And these are registered, registered at the state level and the national level. And so when people are done with this, they actually have a national credential that they can take with them. This has been particularly appealing in the rural areas because one of the problems that they have is with retention and recruitment. And when they offer something that's a little bit more than just hiring you and throwing you out on the floor, it creates this relationship between the employer and the employee. When they see these benefits of you know, upskilling their people that they have, then it just benefits everybody. We really greatly reduce the amount of time. We increase, increase the um, amount of salaries that people would get. If you'd reduce a college program by one semester, that's whole semester you don't have to pay. So it saved them money, it saved them time, and it got them out into the workforce faster. We now have 164 healthcare apprentices enrolled in Montana. We had zero when we started. We have 44 facilities that are having apprenticeship programs, and we have 15 occupations. Um, many of them did not exist nationally anywhere. One of the things that this has done is because there's a, a mentor that's within that facility that's responsible for overseeing that person's um, on-the-job education, it is changing those organizations in to, have, to have cultures of learning. We're trying to provide education opportunities in, in place. And so for them to really change their their culture to accommodate this is, is very powerful. And now they've got people that are just excited about having an opportunity to help the employees in their organization get more skills, get raises, um, really build their confidence, gain their confidence. So one of the ways that we really got the nursing programs and the employers involved was that we asked employers to serve on the committees um, that were working on redesigning the nursing curriculum. And it was a very valuable experience for the faculty and the directors of nursing because one of the things that they found was that even though they have stellar, they have stellar programs in Montana, but they didn't have anything in it that was very specific in their coursework about rural. So they were like, whoa, right, we need to fix this. And so through that kind of communication, um, they realized, oh, we really need to be asking more of employers, okay, what are your needs? And they really realized and are realizing more and more 
just how fast healthcare changes out in the field that they've got to have that communication with the employers to really know what needs to be tweaked here and there, that everything is up to standards, not only by the regulators, but also by what is required in the field. Now the employers are begging us for curriculum that we just haven't had time to develop. So it's been a really win-win for everybody. So all of the curriculum, the nursing curriculum, the online piece, as well as all the other modules and, or coursework, that will all be uploaded into Skills Commons, and so will be available to anybody to use. Our apprenticeship program, because it was so new and there weren't really any materials to help people understand, we created a toolkit that has um, all the standards that we developed for each of the occupations, um, the, the trade schedules, so how, how does this all work. Um, we created a pr apprentice checklists so that they could like check off if they've done as, as they're working through their curriculum as they're working through their competencies as they're working on their on the job training so that they could keep track of what they were doing we also created those for the mentors and those will all be available in skills commons for other people to use